Justin Dunk at the 2016 Grey Cup. Justin, uh, an incredible game, an incredible atmosphere. What were your takeaways? It was awesome. Walking into the stadium, there was bands playing, tailgating was going on, and there was lots of people. It felt like there was a buzz around this football game and coming into it. And more importantly, the place was packed. Not a sellout, but it was near full capacity, which gave this Grey Cup the feel that it needed. I think we've been talking about pizza pizza ads and Orge's <laughs> comments about concussions. We've been talking about empty parties. Uh, this was the first time uh, that this Grey Cup felt like a Grey Cup. It had a Grey Cup atmosphere. Uh, it, it, it finally felt like what the normal Grey Cup experience is like. It felt like a championship game. And it was helped by the fact that the game was spectacular, right? Goes into overtime, there's a comeback, there's you know questionable calls. The question I think that we have is, does this change Henry Burris' legacy now? I thought he was a Hall of Famer before coming into this game, Drew, because of what he's done in his career. He had already had a great cup, a great cup MVP, and had thrown for a ton of yardage. But I think this just only further cements it and really states the case that I don't think anyone can argue against him being a Hall of Famer. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think the good Hank, bad Hank narrative, which has become cliche and a bit played out, uh, you saw Twitter explode with that when he threw the interception in the third quarter. But look, Hank's now won two titles, and I think that he gets to be considered in the same way that people thought about Calvillo, uh, that thought about Elway, that thought about Manning, a guy who late in his career sort of answers all the questions of, about his performance. Finally, I think, what's your biggest takeaway from this week? I mean, is the legacy of this week uh, the sort of disappointing performance that Toronto put on, or is the legacy this game? It, for me, it has to be the game. That's the way the week ended, and as you said, Drew, it was awesome. It was a CFL class game. I don't know how anyone tuning into this game, maybe sort of a CFL fan that's not in every single game and not into it, but a first timer possibly watches this and gets drawn in because of the swings and momentum, because of the quick lead changes. If this was the Super Bowl, Ottawa up 33-23 with around five minutes left to go, it's over. the game's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, and, and that the, the best of the CFL was on Showcase today, and I think that we hadn't seen that all week, uh, and there have been so many question marks. This was a game that this league needed to have today because I think it helps answer some questions about Toronto and, and it also it really shows you the good part of Canadian football and I think we stopped talking about that uh, for a little bit this week and we finally get to talk about it today. It's and it great. showed that BMO Field can be a place where football can thrive. I think that's what the Argos wanted this season when they moved here but this atmosphere today was awesome and that's what the Argos need to recreate going forward. All right, make sure you check out 3 Down. We'll have tons of stuff on the Great Cup win. And uh, while everyone else will stop covering the CFL uh, after this week, we're going to keep going. So make sure you come back to 3 Down Nation. Thanks, Justin. Check us out.